What? I can drink beer. It's my beer. We're about to embark on a journey with my boy Scott. He's a bigger guy. He's trying to lose weight. He's very active. He Olympic lifts. Um, he plays the trumpet. He's an intelligent dude. He knows a lot about fitness, actually. But even with all of that, he still struggles with losing weight. So we're going to sit down with him. We're going to talk to him, see you know some of his reservations, see what he's going to do to kind of make some changes, some real changes in his life. Um, and hopefully you can get inspired and it can motivate you to get out there, get active, and, and maybe follow along in his journey. Hi, I'm Scott Roberts, and I struggle with weight loss. So, Scott, how long have you been on your fitness journey? Yet? So, I really have um, been actually active uh, and trying to be kind of in the fitness world for the last two years. Not even in the fitness world, but. Um, I would say about two years. So two years, man. How has that been? Have you have you lost any weight since then? Or well, I when I started, I um, I actually I went to the CrossFit gym, and uh, the coach there was like, "Have you ever tried Olympic weightlifting?" So I, you know, in the two 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 and a half years that I've actually been physically active and doing something with my body, um, as far as like becoming stronger, uh, you know, I. Um, started Olympic weightlifting and uh, also running and um, I lost about 60 pounds Jeez. in the first go around and then I um, I, uh, I gained it all back. I, I got injured and uh, had life kind of thrown at me and um, I gained it all back. So, so, went, like, so, so I'm sitting at 275 right now. 275? Yeah. So, I mean, do you, do you have a goal to, like, lose a certain amount of weight? Like, so my goal, my goal is to get down to 220, 215, 215 pounds. I am at healthy at that weight. I'm a lot stronger, a lot more bulky. You know, when you become a man, you get a little bit stronger um, and bulkier as you get older. Uh, so I feel like 215 is a healthy weight for me, um, 215 pounds. A lot of people, I'm six foot, so maybe even a little bit lighter than that, closer to 200. But, so I, I got, my goal is to lose 65 to 75 pounds. And, when though, by, by when? Um, I think to that amount of weight, a uh, healthy, you know, to lose it in a, in a healthy, like living a healthy lifestyle and being physically active and eating correctly, I think um, a six month period is healthy. I think that would be healthy for me. So, what is some of your setbacks? You know, why, why has the journey been hard for you, man? Well, I, I'm a fairly active person. I, I Olympic weightlift, and it's a very, um, calorically, it's very challenging. I have really unhealthy eating habits. I typically eat very wholesome meals. Um, I, I do eat fast food, but I do a lot of cooking for myself and the cooking that I, that I cook is, you know, the way I cook at home is actually fairly healthy. I just have some really bad habits. I eat very late at night and I drink a lot of beer at night. I, um, I really like Californian craft brews. What? <laughs> I eat a lot of ice cream. I love ice cream. I really like ice cream. Um, and I also eat that late at night, which is like the, it's just a perfect recipe for gaining weight, binge eating at night. Uh, I do, I do want to touch on, I feel like people are not honest about how they eat at night. I think that people, I think that people that struggle with losing weight and say they work really hard, you know, they're hitting the gym three to five days a week and doing cardio and have set meal plans but aren't seeing any results. Those people are not being honest with what they're eating and how they're eating. Unhealthy eating habits. Have you dealt with that before? I, I know I have. To this day, I still battle a cake here or a cupcake there. But Scott made a great point. You should be honest with yourself about your eating habits. And it isn't until you're actually honest with yourself that you can start making positive steps towards 
reaching your goal. Another setback I have is I do not like cardio. Yo, who? Yo, who cut my rope? It's a really good way to lose weight and it's just something that I don't do enough of. We must recognize that losing weight is a calorie gain. You have to be at a caloric deficit. And if you're not utilizing cardio, you're not maximizing caloric expenditure. Another, the, I guess the last setback that I have is inconsistency. I have periods of consistency and periods of passion and tenacity with what I'm doing and then I stop and that's a very common story in a lot of people's journey to becoming physically fit and enjoying that lifestyle. One of our generation's setbacks is inconsistency. You can work hard all you want, but the moment you stop, the moment you take the bench, you lose everything. So stay in the game. The best way to fight setbacks is setting goals. Scott is consciously aware of his setbacks. So let's see if he has anything in mind to change. So you, you've highlighted your setbacks. You know, have you done anything to kind of combat those and taken any, any courses of action, any goals? So I have three goals to really make my eating healthier and to get better at having healthy habits. I'm going to stop eating after 9 p.m. This is really gonna firm up my binge eating problem. I have a problem getting home and eating the ice cream and drinking the beer. And so as well with that, just stop drinking beer during the week. Beer is a, it really is very good. I mean, especially if you're in California, there's, some fantastic beer here. So like during the, the like a Saturday, I'm gonna make it a treat for myself to have, you know, a good IPA and just, it's gonna be a treat. It's gonna be a, a reward for not doing that during the week. And then, you know, I really need to make healthier choices during the day. One thing you have to remember, one thing is so valuable to remember this when you're choosing foods is that food is fuel. And I don't know about you, but I want high octane gas in my tank. So for lunch, I really, uh, there's a taqueria down the street that I have at my, around my work, and they make excellent burritos. And burritos are they're phenomenal for squatting. If you're trying to get your numbers up and squatting, eat burritos, but that's not my goal. My goal is to lose weight. So I'm gonna eat chicken salad instead. Just, you know, olive oil and vinegar, chicken salad, water, stuff like that. Notice how specific Scott is being about his goals. When you set a goal, be specific. My second goal is cardio related. I am going to do cardio three times a week. I'm not gonna jog or run. I am a heavy guy and for me personally, I do Olympic weightlifting and that's what's really most important to me. So I don't want to damage my joints and that constant pounding. I wanna preserve my joints, especially my knees. So I'm just not going to do the, the jogging and running. I'm going to do rowing or stair stepper at a gym. You know, it absorbs a lot of the pounding. And the rowing is a really compound movement that really mimics a clean. Because if, if you're doing it properly, it starts with a good forceful push. So and rowing is excellent for your cardiovascular health. And it's something that really makes it strong. So Scott is setting realistic goals for himself. He Olympic lifts and he's trying to preserve his joints, so he's not going to run for cardio. So you have to be realistic. My third goal is combating inconsistency. So, you know, I've always struggled with consistency in my life, in everything that I do, and I, I, I always want to blame it on generational stuff, like, oh, I'm a millennial, uh, millennial or, oh, I, my parents were inconsistent, or, you know, the fact is, is, I mean, it has really hindered me from becoming great at a lot of things. I play trumpet, I Olympic weightlift, and I'm very amateur at these things because of my inconsistency. I have periods of tenacity and passion and just becoming immersed and obsessed with it. 
and live and breathe it, and then I just fall off the map. And um, I think that a lot of us can benefit from from becoming more consistent in the things that we love. Because if you see somebody that's successful, they're successful because of their and, uh, because of their consistency. They're successful because they go in and they had a rough day, they had a bad day lifting. You know, the snatch just wasn't perfect, and you know, for some reason, you have a new bad habit that came out of nowhere, and they work through those bad days. If you're trying to be consistent, one of the best ways to do this is to have someone hold you accountable. Choose someone that you trust to check in on you and make sure that you're going through with the goals you've set for yourself. Honestly, you know, I can go on and on about consistency and inconsistency because it's one of the biggest issues in everything. Um, the biggest thing that I can do is change my mindset and the way I think because that's really what's hindered me in the past is I get in a bad way mentally. And it's really important that I change my mind and change how I think. And, um, you know, I use a friend, you know, to help me stay consistent. You know, I got my, my bro, Kurt, and he's, he's always very consistent with his working out. And he can help me out. And I really, that's my biggest challenge is this, this thing. So Scott is not very different than a lot of us. I mean, he started his fitness journey, he lost a bunch of weight, he gained it back. He struggled, he's fought, he's trying to get back on track. And I know there's some of you out there that can identify with this. So what can we learn from what we watch today? One, you have to be honest with yourself. First, recognize where you are on your journey. That's one. Two, you have to set specific, realistic goals. Be specific about your goal and be realistic. Lastly, you should tell someone about it. Tell a friend, tell your mom, tell your pops, tell somebody about this goal so they can hold you accountable for it and you can remain consistent. And you can do that, you can remain consistent without a friend if you change how you think and how you view. But we could talk all day about that. We're gonna keep checking in on Scott. We're gonna follow him on his fitness journey. We're gonna learn from his journey. Stay tuned, Life Sculpt. We're more than a few pounds down. We're more than a few extra pounds of muscle. We're stronger, we're healthier. Fit mind, fit body. We're better than we were yesterday. This is Kurt Mack Fit. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.